Hello everyone, it is that time again for my 10 days of fall. I loved doing this last year and I had to do it again this year. Fall is just the best, it's just the most cozy. I love the colors, it's just, it's just a magical time. If fall is also your favorite season, let me know in the comments down below, but it's definitely mine. Maybe not so much the weather, but just the coziness, the clothes, the colors, just the feeling of fall. I don't know, the change in the air. I just love it all. I put together 10 videos for you guys, so every day from today and the next 10 days will be a new tutorial for you on this channel here. And I am so excited, so let's get into the first one. The first one is this Fall Vibes Cup. So this, I used Shape Tape to get this look and i just am in love with how this turned out i love this like deep burgundy shade with the green and the gold make sure you guys check out day two tomorrow also i am going to be doing some giveaways throughout the 10 days of fall i'm going to try to give away whatever i use to make that cup so always check the description for how to enter and all the details of the giveaway but like this one there's the three colors of glitter and the shape tape and then i will also give away some epoxy with everything as well so make sure you enter the giveaways and let's get into the tutorial so i'm starting with this 30 ounce skinny cup and just taking off the lid and the little sticker at the bottom then i prepped it with mattify and an abrasive pad Next, I'm going on with Claret Wine Rust-Oleum Spray Paint. This is the most gorgeous, like deep red burgundy color. I love it so much. So I think I did two coats of it just to make sure it was a nice full coverage layer of paint. Then I'm gonna use our shape tape, double-sided adhesive tape so that you can put designs, different glitter designs or burst templates onto your cup. So I am using this uh, really dirty mat. It's a light grip. You always wanna use light grip when using shape tape. You don't want anything too sticky or it's going to um, grip onto the paper of the shape tape and that's not good. So sticking that on there. Then I'm using this design that we have on svgsellers.com. If you wanna check that out, I'll have it linked down below. So just cutting this out on my silhouette. So I have my design all cut. Next, I'm going to cut this. I'm not doing a full wrap. If you are nervous about lining up and making sure your edges match, just give yourself a good two to three inches on one side and put someone's name or a cute little saying there. It saves you the trouble of trying to get the two ends to line up perfectly because we all know that is very difficult and doesn't always work. And once you get the shape tape on the cup, it does not want to come off. So just cutting the edges off Then I measured, giving myself that couple of inches in the back, just so then I can put a little fall saying. So then measuring the length of the cup, You wanna make sure to give yourself a little bit of room at the top and bottom. So I drew a straight line on my cup and I'm going to stick the shape tape on. I peeled it and cut off a little bit of the backing just so that way I could stick it down without having all the rest peeled off. So 
So then now I'm peeling the backing off as well as sticking it down at the same time. And when, it, when my silhouette was cutting this, it did cut a little too deep on the edges. You'll see just where it kind of went through the actual tape part but it's, it ended up fine. I just had to be a little more careful around the edges. So first I kind of took off the like outline or the background one and this came off all in one piece, which was really nice. Then I'm using Ace High, it's this gorgeous burgundy shade. This is coming out in my Wild West collection. It'll be coming out soon. I am so excited about it. There's so many gorgeous shades. But just going on with that, and then I like to kind of rub it around, just making sure you get really good glitter coverage. It's gonna make sure you get a little piece of glitter stuck in every little nook and cranny of the shape tape. So just keep doing that all the way around. And I also used, this is a small cut, and the other ones that I use I think are medium cuts. So then taking a needle pen to peel off the little leaf parts and I kind of did one line of one color and the next line is going to be the other color. So I just go ahead and peel off everything on the cup that's going to be that color. Just makes it easier, you're not going back and forth between glittering and peeling off pieces. Just do the whole cup, whatever you're doing in that color. So now I'm using Anaconda in medium. This was from the Tropical Collection. It's a really pretty deep green. Um, with shape tape, you also want to work from darkest to lightest color. So that way you don't have like, if you're using white, let's say, and you use a darker color, you're not going to have little pieces of the darker color stuck in your white. So just make sure you think about that when you're working with shape tape, go from darkest to lightest. But same thing, just lay the glitter on and rub it in. Now I'm doing all the rest of the leaves to do a gold.
Then we're going in with Gold Fever. It's just this really pretty kind of light gold. This one is also from the Wild West collection. And that's what it looked like with the shape tape. So I used a clear matte spray paint to seal that. Then we're going in with some glitter glue on the bottom to give the bottom some glitter as well. So I'm just going in like along that center part, not the whole bottom. So sprinkling on Gold Fever. Then I cut out this Fall Vibes decal. I got this color vinyl from Michaels and it's just the perfect fall color. So putting that on the blank part of the cup. And this vinyl matched perfectly with that gold glitter. It looks so pretty. So then I did two more layers of the epoxy to finish off the cup. Then it was done. I love the colors and how it turned out. You definitely could do, instead of the dark green, something a little more contrast. So you can see that pop a little more, but I really just love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and make sure you check out my other fall videos. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.